Welcome back to Frederick Advice Givers, episode 200. So you've noticed leading up to this episode, I uh, had some really good friends on there. I had my mom on episode 198, had Annie and Ellie on 199. Uh, this episode is um, it's bittersweet. Episode 200 is the final episode of Frederick Advice Givers. When I started this journey back in March, almost five years to the day, March of 2015, I didn't know where it would take me. I didn't know how many lives, how many people, how many stories we'd hear, I'd share with you, that our guests would share with you. It was uh, through the podcast that I made many great relationships. You might not know this, but this podcast is a labor of love for me. It was my goal when I started in 2015 to help other business owners and entrepreneurs share their stories with you. The model, my mindset, was two years prior, I had started writing and telling my stories to my audience. And my income in real estate, it quadrupled in a two year period. It doubled and doubled again. And I kind of felt that I had unlocked the key to helping business owners gain profits, make more of an impact in their community. So I started with the idea of actually writing a magazine, writing stories for other business owners and entrepreneurs. But it was at that time that I figured that one, publishing a magazine, which I did for about the first 50 episodes, publishing a magazine was very, very labor intensive. And two, it was a huge cost. And since I didn't take in advertising, since this is a free podcast, I've never asked for advertising, I've never asked for a dollar from my guest, uh, that burden, that cost was on me and it wasn't sustainable. I couldn't afford to spend two to three thousand dollars a month publishing that magazine. So we did that for a short time and it was fun. Um, it got me into the publishing world and I liked it. But what we found out was that it was more impactful and we did this about episode 100 of sharing videos on top of the audio podcast. And see, I started this podcast wanting to help business owners share their content through consistent, compelling communication, which is how I have grown my business how I have grown um, my branding, how I have grown my um, impact in the community is through sharing consistent, compelling content. Now the podcast is great for what it does. It gives the, it gives the uh, guest a one-time episode on the podcast where they get a blip in, their, blip in their business, they get an increase in their business, but it's not consistently. So we only have two of the three C's. I'm always talking about in this line of work, in real estate, in story architect, in the new podcast, which I'm gonna share with you in a second, about having consistent, compelling content. The podcast, it was compelling content. It wasn't consistent. Yeah, it was consistent for me to get out there and interview other business owners and entrepreneurs, but for the guest, they come on one time, they get an increase in business, they get an increase in branding, uh, but it's not sustainable. And then I wanted to develop 21 days to publish. So that's, that was my next program, 21 Days to Publish, where I would teach business owners and entrepreneurs how to share their story. And that's actually awesome. That works really well. If you go to 21daystopublish.com, you can see how we're helping business owners and entrepreneurs share their story through the written word. One of the three forms of communication. We have written word, we have audio, and we have video. And the more that you can hit consistently, the better, the more impact you can make within your community, within your audience. See, it's my belief that we each have a core audience. So I'm never selling, okay? In real estate, in business, in the podcast, I'm never selling, I'm just sharing stories. I'm just getting uh, my message out there, my belief system out there. And if you as a listener or viewer um, or audience member like what I have to say, like what I have to write about, then you're drawn towards me and you research more, you do more. If you don't like it, then you go find somebody else that you drive with. Uh, some people, they, they grow their business by cold calling, lead generation, door knocking. That's never been me. I, I've, I've, I could never do that. It's never been uh, inside of me to beg, pester, call, follow up. Uh, follow up is one of the weakest things that I do. But I, what I do do well is put out consistent, compelling content. So this episode, you know, I, I think back episode one with Ryan Sloper. I've had Annie on here twice. My mom was, a, was an awesome episode. I had Dr. Allison Bamba, I had The Pop Shop, I had Michelle Schaefer who's become a really good friend. Um, I've had uh, Whitney at The Muse uh, who has just recently sold The Muse. 
Um, I've had Kim uh, Dow with SAS Magazine. You know, I've had so many. I've, Danny, I've had Danny Farrar twice, um, and he's actually gonna be on the, on the new podcast because uh, he fits what we're going for. I, you know, I've, had, I've met so many wonderful people, Dr. Josh Funk, that I wouldn't have met if it wasn't through this podcast, this platform. So with that, I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad because, you know, the Frederick community uh, has been awesome, open, welcoming. Uh, the, the entrepreneurial business owner community is very tight in Frederick. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, what, I, what we also do with Impact Club. There's a, there's a symbiotic correlation between Impact Club and kind of the, the business community. Impact Club will have uh, guests come from different, different walks of life, different charities. And the charities, they support each other. It's pretty cool. You know, Blessings in the Back, Hat Back, Well Help Hartley House, and, and they all kind of work together to do a greater good uh, to help those in need in Frederick, which is awesome. The same thing with the business community. It's really cool how um, Business A and Business B, like they might be competing or they, you know, they might be kind of in the same niche, but they help each other out. It's awesome. Uh, if I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Alex uh, Sinkovich. Uh, he was a guest on one of the early episodes of Advice Givers, uh, a dapper DJ. You know, I could, I could go through the list of all 200 uh, episodes and what I learned, what I loved was, you know, when the person that I was interviewing had a passion about helping others, about making an impact, those are the ones five years later that are still in business. You know, you can tell when you meet somebody or when you talk to somebody, are they in it to help or are they in it for themselves? And those, I can tell you 100%, 100%, those that are in it to help others, to give back for a bigger purpose, bigger cause, they're the ones that are making a huge impact in Rhodes. Uh, Funk, he's got five or, six, uh, five or six offices now. You know, Danny, he's got 10 or 12 uh, soldier fits now. Uh, you know, that's a franchise model. That's something that interests me. Uh, everybody has kind of like their own way of going about it. We all kind of help each other out. You know, I can call Danny up and say, hey man, what were you thinking about this? Or what was here? Or he calls me up and, Eric, what are you doing now? What's this, what's this about? So that's been the number one um, thing that I have learned is that in any walk of life, in any business that you have, it's about the relationships that you build. It's about the people that you help. It's about the impact that you have within your audience, within your community. Um, so that being said, Episode 200, Frederick Advice Givers. This is it, guys. Um, it's been quite a journey five years later. Um, I might cry, I might not. Uh, but what is next? So it's always been like, what's next? And I feel that evolution happens. You have to know when to close one door to open another. And I'm going to briefly touch on uh, Four Entrepreneurs by Entrepreneurs, which is, is the new podcast uh, that will be released here soon. Uh, I'll do a pilot episode introducing uh, four entrepreneurs by entrepreneurs. Then we'll go episode one. I've got eight, nine people lined up for the new podcast. Uh, so what I found is that every entrepreneur has at least one thing, but one thing they do really, really, really well, better than anything else, if they're successful. And I want to take a deep dive into what's that one superpower that that entrepreneur has that they can share with other business owners and entrepreneurs. Because what I found is, is the audience for most podcasts, especially business podcasts like this, are other entrepreneurs and business owners. So why not gear the next podcast to business owners and entrepreneurs? That's why we're calling it For Entrepreneurs by Entrepreneurs. Every week, we're gonna interview a new entrepreneur and find out what they do really well. Now, they might have a class or they might uh, market themselves or they might help other business owners, owners and entrepreneurs in that specific niche. And if they do, great. If you need help, if you're an entrepreneur business owner, you need help in that specific niche, reach out to them. That's what we're here for, is to help grow the business community, help entrepreneurs become more successful. That's the, end goal. That's the entire goal for four entrepreneurs by entrepreneurs, is I feel that once you can become successful, you can have a greater impact within your community. So that being said, thank you, listeners, viewers, for tuning in. 
We're not uh, going away. They'll still be on iTunes. They'll still be on the website. If you want to go back, listen to any, any of the prior podcasts, any of the 199 other prior podcasts, uh, we would love that. I think we're, what we're going to do is merge the Facebook pages. So uh, audience members uh, from the new um, Story Architect for, for Entrepreneurs by Entrepreneurs and Advice Givers uh, podcast, um, Facebook page will all be one page. Um, but I'm excited about the new venture. I'm excited to have a greater impact, um, not just in Frederick, but in the entrepreneurial community. With that being said, we're signing out for the last time, episode 200 of Frederick Advice Givers, and we are 